Hello, back again to share my latest mixed media slash planner haul. So these are from the past weekend um, when I went out. First off, I picked up the Happy Planner, the small size, the mini one, because I wanted to get a planner to keep on my desk um, just so I could easily look at it. I have my one planner that's in my traveler's notebook, but that's always in my purse. So I wanted to have something that I could just keep on my desk to be able to see what's going on. So I got the one that has the Hello Life. It's really pretty. I had to go to three different Michaels to try and find it because they were nowhere to be found. So I had to go all the way across the other side of town to find them or find it. So I put a little Target pocket. This is the ones from the dollar spot in there to hold some stickers and some notes. A little dashboard. This actually was part of the packaging that came on the Happy Planner. I just cut it down and put it in there. So I just have it set up, you know, just like any other planner. And I actually had to go back because I hate blank pages. So I went back and filled in all the, all the uh, blank pages because I just got it, like I said last week. So, but then I got February all set up. I got the cute, uh, this is from the Coco Daisy kit, the Simon die cuts and stuff. Let's put that, and then there's this week. So it's all Valentine's, got little Simon in there and just some different things. So I really like this size. It's a lot more manageable than the bigger Happy Planners. And the pages seem to turn more easily. So that was the first thing I bought. Then I also got some of this washi and the pretty floral patterns. This is the thin washi. And then I've been looking at these for a while and decided to finally pick them up. It's the distressed crayons and like the pastel colors. Got those and then I also bought this stamp set. I really like this stamp here. And then it comes with the stencil as well. Then I got this stamp or stamp set, watercolor set. It's got some really pretty colors in it. And these are on sale for five dollars. So I wanted to give those paints a try and see how they work in my journals. And then I picked up also this Jane Davenport. These are collage papers. They're actually really just like napkins. <laughs> but they come in all the different um, patterns you see here. They're stuck inside here. Let's see if I can pull them out. I won't pull them all out because they're all, I mean, you can see the different patterns here, but yeah, they're basically just napkins. But these will be fun to put on my journal pages. That, and then there's the blue one. So I got those, and I think I'm pretty much done with the Jane Davenport collection. I think I've gotten everything that is offered, which is good. <laughs> so then over at Hobby Lobby, I picked up some of these word stickers. So there's some different words on here to use in my art journal. And I think at the time these were 50% off, or maybe 40 there's ones with different like quotes. So I got those. And I also picked up some of this iridescent medium. You're supposed to be able to use it with your watercolors and it makes it like a pearly iridescent type color. So I'm gonna give that a try. And I used my coupon on this. This is $9.99, so I used my 40% on that. And then I also went to Barnes & Noble and picked up the newest art journaling magazine. Just, I like these for different ideas and color combinations, things like that. So I got that. I went to look for the newest um, Daisy Diary, uh, Daphne's Diary, but mine doesn't have it in yet. So I'll have to go back and see. So then last, 
weekend or this past weekend my daughter and I had a girls day and we went shopping and got Starbucks and um, had a really fun day so we went to Michael's and Tuesday morning in Target in Dollar Tree so over at Michael's I picked up another mini happy planner because I want to use this as my Bible uh, Bible journaling to keep track of because I'm trying to read the Bible in a year so they have it broken down I follow this uh, plan that has it broken down by days what you need to read so like this was all of January which I finished and then here's February so I just have it written down in there just to keep track so I can look in there and then I plan on using these just to take notes um, and things like that so that's why I picked that up and then I got some of these this is the happy planner or the create 365 and this is the faith edition so it has all these different um, scriptures and quotes and things like that and there's one in here that my daughter and I just we were cracking up about it and we just kept saying it all weekend or all day let me see if I can find it I guess I can show you what's all in there so there's just different different pretty little things oh I gotta find it <laughs> it is this one Jesus is my jam so <laughs> we kept saying that all day long that was funny so those are pretty I love these colors that they have in here and this was my favorite sheet I even told her I said I wish I could just buy this one sheet but the others will be useful as well and I can use it in my actual planner too like the check marks and the arrows and things like that but some of like the bigger um, the bigger quotes and stuff like this I just can't put those in here because they're too big so but I'll find another use for them I'll probably use them in my inspired Bible my coloring Bible so got that one and I used my coupon on that also got some more planner type stickers so got this set just has the pretty pastel colors that and then I picked up this set and there's all the different ones you get in there and finally this set which looks like that so that was it from Michaels then we went over to Tuesday morning and I got some of these Heidi Swap mini sprays. So it comes in, what's that color? Butter, hot pink, and peacock. And I found these. Oh, no, I didn't get these these days. I got this, or that day. I got it in another day, but it's some faith stamps. So those were $2.99. And then I got this set of Dear Lizzie die cuts. Really cute summer, summer themed ones. Then I found these rub-ons. Some black ones and some gold. And that is Lux Pink Paisley. And finally from there I picked up this Anna Griffin this is a card making kit for Father's Day so you get four cards and these will be perfect this one is perfect for my husband since he loves baseball and then I can make my dad one as well and that was only $1.49 for that so good deal there so that was it from there and then finally we went to Dollar Tree and I just found these stamps well, they had the other ones but this is the only one I cared for because I have enough I think there was a birthday one and um, 
I can't think of the other ones, but I have so many stamps, so I just bought these to use in my art journal for that. So that is my haul, and I have one more video to do. I'm going to do a flip through of my Daphne's Diary, my 2017, um, this thing. I flipped through January and February so far of how I've got it filled in. So I will be back with that. And I can get all this stuff put away now. So thanks for watching. Bye.